Hey guys, welcome back. Um, we are back for VFL Tier 1, Round 2 here in here in Mexico. You can see I'm on the end of my fastest flying lap, which wasn't exactly a flying lap in, at all. And um, yeah, the struggle is still continuing. Uh, this qualifying was, well, my worst qualifying I think I've had ever in um, any kind of league racing, league racing at all. I've, uh, just got a new setup, so I'm trying to get used to that. That's my excuse. So let me uh, let me run with it. But as you can see, coming across the line, and um, at the moment in 12th place. But uh, after qualifying ends, we didn't improve on our last run, and uh, yeah, we qualified dead last. 1.5 seconds off. It's quite close, really. The whole field is very very tight. As we go to the race now, it is full. Well, not full. It's into intermediate race, inters all race, as you can see, just struggling with traction on the start, another terrible start, something I thought I improved on, but obviously, obviously haven't, using the ERS coming down into turn one, and just hoping that there's going to be a bit of carnage into turn one, which there is a little bit, actually everyone is very, very close together, we're just going to see if we can pick out any moves, and a lot of contact there from a lot of a lot of different cars, just trying to go around the outside and then come through the inside and we actually gained a few places there up to 18, so we're up a couple of places in front of the United One and Poppy who were of course um, direct rivals in Tier 2 last season. The United One trying to go around the outside, which he does get done and we try to go around the outside but not able to, not able to get the move back. Again, side by side, there's a couple of cars off there. That's Mirko in the Alfa Romeo, who's one off with a bit of contact up ahead. And uh, at the moment, we're currently sitting, well, still in 18th place. But it's been okay start. Any any lap, any positions gained on the first lap is always always a good thing. She's just, just really struggling, just cutting the corner ever so slightly. And I do a lot of that in this race. So the United one going quite slower, we get a much better run through the corner, go to the stadium section, launch it up the inside, almost collect the back of Darsan in the house, but luckily just managed to avoid him. <clears throat> so after the first lap, we're up to 17, so three places gained in one lap, which is, well, a good start, and this is already feels better than I've been driving, well definitely for the last, last race, a lot better already. Try to go around the outside of Darsan into the stadium section, I'm going to try to do a repeat move, but we just did a lap of go up the inside, but Darsan just breaks a little bit late, turns in a little bit and we make a tiny bit of contact, but luckily no damage for either of us. So it could have ended in tears for both of us, but luckily, luckily it's not, as you can see we get another, another warning there for corner cam. But back onto the main straight, we're using the ERS with the slipstream, trying to get past Darsan as quickly as we can. Probably using the ERS so early on is probably not the best idea, but it just seems to be what something I do. So down the inside of Darsan, nice and late on the brakes, easily up into P15. So three laps in, five places gained. And you see the bit of contact up ahead there between the Red Bull of Sky and I believe that's Robert VDS, the champion last season. We're side by side with Sky. He just doesn't really leave as much room, turns in on us, uh, but we get past him anyway, no contact, no damage. Up the inside of Robert VDS, I don't care if he's got damage, this is something I'm going to brag about for a while. So we've got past both of those and we're now up into P13 and I can just about see it on the screen. So P13 now in five laps. This has been, well, a really good start. I made that P12 because the other Red Bulls had a bit of a spin into the pit lane I'm guessing. That is a difficult corner for traction. As we will discover later. No, um, you guys will see. You guys will see. And we've already got six seconds worth of uh, time penalties and this is something I've really struggled with in this race exit, exit and I'm now. really not sure why but I just kept getting warnings and time penalties so I really need to clean up my driving for the next race uh, which is in Monaco so that's gonna be that's gonna be fantastic can't wait for that but you see coming out the pits we've actually lost out to Mirko and Rob VDS who are just naturally quicker but this is where get a very, it's where things get a little bit interesting now with Merkel, we catch up to the back, obviously with the fresh tyres, around the outside of Turn 1, we are side by side, we have a great little ding dong battle here, not making any contact at all, on the, 
in the track limits, side by side around those three corners. Just absolute brilliant wheel to wheel race. Them. He's going to try to fling it back up the inside, but we just managed to break late enough to keep our nose ahead into P15. So a great little battle. I ain't going to be the last one we're going to have with Mirko either, so just keep an eye out for that. On lap 19, Tom Taylor just spins out, so he almost, almost hits the wall, but luckily managed to correct it for him. And uh, we managed to sweep past up into P13. And as you can see on lap 20, safety car. So I thought, oh, this is great, safety car. And then I realised, oh wait, I've got nine seconds worth of time penalties. This probably isn't isn't that good for me. So we decided to pit again. Most people are could have stayed out, could have gained some time, but I thought, you know, having to tyres that are fresh, pressure is always going to be a better option because we're just going to drop back like a stone anyway. So we put some fresh tyres and we come out of the pits in P. 16, I believe that is P16. So to come out for a few laps, and then it decides to come in. And I knew there was going to be a lot of, a lot of traffic in the stadium section. Just trying to back up everyone before putting down, putting the foot down on the throttle onto the main straight, because you know trying to break that slipstream is absolutely vital. Come round the last corner, Mirko actually hits the wall. It's a very bad exit, but we don't get such a good exit either. How the Dar sound behind us, great exit, he's up the inside just before the start finish straight. We're using the Yaris, we've got the slipstream from Mirko as well, we've got ahead of Dar sound. We're going to try to go for a repeat move, one we did earlier on Mirko, trying to go around the other side of turn one. We're getting very close, we, we go much, much deeper in that corner than we did before. We actually do bang wheels this time, almost spin it round, but luckily just managed to avoid that. We just keep it ahead for the meantime. Up ahead, Mirko and the United one side by side. The United one, I don't know if he's got damage or if he's just run wide and he's kind of trying to try and get his car back on line. But we can see we have to just go off track a little bit there just to pass him. So, you know, was that a fair warning? Probably not, but it doesn't matter because we've had so many anyway. And this is where it all comes to an end. Lap 30. So things are running well, it's been a pretty good race, there's been a lot of positives to take away. And let's just come around the last corner here, just pick up the throw too early, spin it round, wings damaged, and uh, that was it for me. Um, in all honesty, I, I raged quit, <laughs> I hit the wall, and I thought, oh, I can't be bothered, I've, I've had enough. I, yeah, so not one of my proudest moments, but something I will admit to. I have been struggling quite a lot since uh, in the last few races at the end of season two or the end of tier two last last season I just seem to really be struggling to find my foot in the championship I know I've got the pace and I know other people know I have the pace as well I just am struggling to just struggling to get past these current issues it's something I hope that's gonna pass and we can get on with it and uh, get some good results, especially for the next race in Monaco, which is going to be going to be fun. That's going to be a race of survival. But yeah, hopefully we can move past these um, move past these difficulties. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. Uh, please like and subscribe. We want to hit 100 subs by the end of this year. So thank you guys so much.